Welcome to another ink stitch tutorial. This one's going to be about fonts. I'm going to take a deep dive into doing satin stitch fonts. Probably going to separate them into two parts. This first part will be the basics. The second part will be using ink stitches font management system to create an entire library of a satin stitch font that we can use at will. However, this first part is going to be the basics. Show you in a couple of examples. Real simple example is going to be an H. I'm just going to hand create it. And if you're familiar with my channel, I'm not known for being the for doing great freehand art, as it were. So just bear with me. I'm going to create a line, which I did, and create another line beside it, which I did. Make sure you start in the same. At, if you start on the bottom with one, make sure you start on the bottom with the other one. I don't need rails because these are just two straight sticks. Therefore, I don't need rails. On the second one, I'm going to hit shift button and click to highlight both of those. I'm going to go to path and combine. And then we're going to extensions, params, hit the satin column tab, and then check custom satin column. There's our first, first rung of an H. This will be a capital H. Super simple. I'm going to hit control D and just duplicate that same rail and slide it over here. I'm going to hit extensions, ink stitch params, just to make sure that it kept the satin column, which it did. There's our second piece. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and create the recognizable connection that makes it an H. Make another one. Hit my select tool, shift, select, go path, combine, extensions, ink stitch params satin column custom satin column there's our cross member we have an H however when we go to visualize you'll notice that there's an ugly jump stitch we don't want that ugly jump stitch there's two of them actually we don't want those Ink Stitch has a really handy tool for that. I'm going to select all of them either by just zooming across with the mouse or select each one of these paths. Just make sure the whole thing is selected. Go to Ink Stitch, Satin Tools, Auto Route, Auto Route, Satin Columns. By default, this is checked. Trim Jump Stitches. If your machine does not recognize ink stitches, command to trim jump stitches, unselect that, and it will use underlying um, straight, straight stitch to jump instead of just jumping. Hit apply. Hit close. You notice that it changes a little bit. You can see a straight stitch here and a straight stitch here now. That's what we want. Now when we go into Ink Stitch and Visualize, that ugly jump stitch is gone. Now we have a beautiful satin stitch H. A simplest, one of the simplest letters that you could possibly do. But that was, a, that was to show you the jump stitches and the Ink Stitches Auto Route auto satin auto route stitch whatever it was yeah so that's done that is as basic a letter and as basic a, of a introduction as you could possibly get i think so now we're going to play a little bit if you have if you're working on a piece and you're using a particular font you want that font to be stitched satin and you may or may not ever use that stitch in a satin again or that particular font as a satin again and or you've only got a couple of letters 
for example, we'll just use my initials as an example. And we're going to make that much bigger. And we're going to change the text, the uh, font rather. I don't want to get too carried away in fancy. I think I'm going to go with this one. Let's make it a font size 100. Hit apply. Okay. That's what we're going to use. I don't need to do a break apart and all that other stuff because I'm not actually going to be stitching this. This is just going to show me what to draw on top of. So with that selected, go to your objects layer, come down to opacity and cut the opacity way down to where you can see what you're doing over the top of it. And then you're going to manually draw. As you're getting ready to plan out your lettering, think about jump stitches. If I start drawing this block here from the bottom up, it's going to satin stitch from the bottom up and then it's going to have no choice but to jump. So I want to stitch from the top down so that we can use an underlying stitch to go from there to there. So we're going to hit your draw tool and make sure this when you're using curved lettering, if you select this create spiral path, it'll help quite a bit it'll it'll follow along nicely as you can see it really makes doing curved edges simpler and draw a couple across now I need all of those and then combine Go to Extensions, Ink Stitch, Params, Satin Column, Custom Satin Column. Nice. Now, you can, if you don't want Ink Stitch to control how your jump stitch stitches, you could create, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you this. I'll go ahead and show you, create your own jump stitch. By just going from inside here down and create a straight stitch and over. Make sure that after you've done that you go to your stroke style and you select the dotted line. That'll make a straight stitch over to that point. Now we can use that. Go back to my little yeah that and now we can create the other part oh you know what i'm doing sh straight nodes again hit that curve node There's one down. And if you don't like where you've placed a node, fix it later. Don't worry too much about it right now. In other words, use this tool to fix wherever you need to fix. Nice. Go back to this create our cross members and remember that jump stitch after that jump stitch is the next one so go from there to there hit path combine extensions ink stitch params satin column satin column lovely let's see what that looks like i'm going to uh, select the first part of it the last part of it with shift click and then i'm going to group 
so that this one object in my objects layer is the full letter D. Let's see what that looks like. If you select just that letter D, you can visualize just the letter D. Outstanding. Yep, we like it. If your machine understands cut stitches, put you a cut stitch on that one, which will be that one. Go ahead and do that. Ink stitch commands, attach command, trim thread, hit apply. That letter is done. Now over to the T. The T. Start over here. Go to about halfway point. Again, about halfway point or so. Combine those two. Path. Combine. Now we're going to do a straight stitch to get over here. In stroke style, hit dotted line. Now from over here, we're going to go from this side to the center. Get those pretty close together to the center. Those don't have to be quite so close together. And make sure you're only selecting the two you just made, not the dotted line. Hit combine. Extensions, ink stitch, params, satin column, custom satin column. Hit apply and quit. And now we can make our downward I'm going to use a middle click so that they have the same node same number of nodes middle click select multi select with shift combine extensions ink stitch params set and column create custom set and column Hit apply. I want the. Okay, they already are. So I just want this. Okay, there's the start of the T. And okay. So hit group. Now I'm just going to select this group, which is the letter T. We're going to visualize it. Oh, I didn't satin stitch that, did I? Something else that I noticed. Let's go ahead and make that a satin stitch. Params. Something else that I noticed that I want to point out to you. Do another visualize. Okay, we'll do it all. We have a jump stitch from the top of this satin stitch to the edge of this one. We don't want that. It's actually really easy to fix. I'm going to take that path and I'm going to flip it. And then just adjust it so it's straight. Now that puts that last rung, let's zoom in a little bit, that puts that last rung on the bottom so that it doesn't go from the top. Okay, now we're going to visualize the T again, and it should take care of it. Beautiful, beautiful. You notice there's a little gap there. I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and close that gap just by simply pulling that over to the middle and pulling that over to meet it. Now our gap is gone. Go back to the T. It should be there's just the T. Let's visualize again and see how it looks.
should look right. Outstanding. Visualize the whole thing. Actually, get rid of that text. So now we just have the letters. That's it. Let's look at a more complicated one. Okay, now for giggles, we're going to do a hard one. So let's just make, I'm going to make a single letter. H. Why not? And let's go to text. Yep, we're going to do that one. We're going to do that letter H right there. I'm going to make it a, let's see what 200 looks like. Okay, that works. I'm going to make it taller, though. One big, ancient, fancy-looking letter H. Okay. Going to... We need to go into objects. Turn that opacity down so we can see what we're doing over the top. And just start tracing. We're not going to do it exactly like they have it. But we're going to try to get pretty close. And let's make a couple of rungs. I turn that snap off. Or it drives me insane. Okay. And we're not going to be no, we're not going to be able to do too many jump stitches on this because it's all in the air and if your machine won't trim you're just gonna have to take them little scissors but that's part of it hit combine hit params satin column yeah that looks good okay there's our first piece now this one's gonna be interesting I'm going to do my own, my own. I'm going to start right about here and then come up and over. And then get a little bit in here. Depending on how close you want to follow the original, you'll drive yourself insane. I'm going to scroll in, make my cross piece here. And here, a little bit of an angle, and then straight. And find our first piece, shift click, path, combine, extension, ink stitch, params, satin column, custom satin column. Apply and quit. I'm going to make a jump stitch to go from here jump stitch from here up to about here and then make sure you dotted line it nice little jump stitch and then we're going to go from here down make it out here try not to make a satin stitch Pointed. You'll thank me in the end. And your machine will thank you too.
Okay, jump stitch or uh, cross members, whatever they're called. Start spreading it out. Straight across, straight across. Start curving it. I'm going to adjust that one a little bit, move it up here. Okay, go back. And. All right, find where we left off with the jump stitch. Next one's that one. Come on up. Path combine. Extensions, ink stitch, params. Satin, satin. That is not what I signed up for. What did I do wrong? One of those rails is backwards. Okay, select. I think I did one of those rails backwards. So hit just one of the rails and then select reverse. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, that's it. So you know what it looks like when you do one of the rails one direction and one of the rails in another direction. You know what that looks like now. It's not pretty. All you have to do is select one of the rails. I guessed, because I wasn't paying attention on which one it needed to be. And I guessed right. All righty. This one's going to be interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the top. And... Do an open top. We need, I'm going to go back one. I want this next one to be a straight turn. And then the one after that can be normal. Okay. Okay, we're going to stop right there. And I'm actually going to duplicate that one. I'm going to hit reverse or flip so that it's over here. How do I do that? I need that one. Come over here. Okay. Beautiful. And since we did a duplicate, they have the same number of nodes, which means we don't need to run rails. So path, combine, extensions, ink stitch, params, satin column, custom satin column. Ah, lovely. That goes to halfway point. Hit apply and quit. We're going to straight stitch, or yeah, straight stitch down here. I need that to be straight. I'm going to hit control Z because I need that next node to be a straight. Okay, fine. We'll start over. Come down. Just make some straight little turns and go to about there. And turn that into a dotted line. There's our straight stitch. Okay. Oh, I need a curved. Make our curved. Now the next one I want straight. So I'm going to hit straight. So that the next one is straight. And then we can go back to curved. And then do another one. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
Let's make this one go to there. Between that one and that one, we're going to make another rung. I'm going to zoom in. I want just this one node to go to there. Make them straight. Straight. Boom. And pull that one up. This is not going to turn out exactly right. But I think it'll be close enough. We'll just we'll just go ahead to see. This one's interesting. that one over and we're going to move that one over okay let's see what happens with that that might work so i got to find my first there's my jump stitch, so there's my first one, hit that one, path, combine, ink stitch, params, satin column, how bad we do? Hmm, that might work, it's not too bad. Straight over. And then straight up. Grab a hold of that one. We don't want it to be part of it. And then straight up. Make us a couple of rungs. And there should be four, one, two, three, four, and path combine, extensions, ink stitch, params, satin column, satin column, apply, done. And then from there, we can go straight into this one going across. Yes, I have no idea how I'm going to do that last line. So we'll figure it out. All right. And this one's pretty straightforward. There to there. There to there. They both have two rungs. Don't need to cross-member them. Path combine. Extensions. Ink stitch. Params. Satin column, satin column. Straight stitch. Up. To somewhere. About there. Make sure that's dotted. Now what do we do? That's not what I want to do. Control Z will undo anything you just did. It will be your friend. It's my friend. So we could do. That might work. Okay, we're going to try that. Since this is the last one, we're going to try that. It's not going to be exact, just the same, same thing I've said. It's not going to be exact, but we're going to go from there to there. I need a, okay, I've got a hard turn. Actually, that's all I need in this one. Okay. 
Okay, I said I'm going to do this way. And then this way. So I need one more. Give me a curved line for this bottom rung. Okay, what have I done? All right. Make another one. Here. Yeah, we'll make that curved. And... And down. And we're just going to cut that off right there. So that's 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 about what I was thinking. Give us some cross members. Maybe. That's our last one. Last one was a coming across one. That's a okay. X C no path combine. Extensions ink stitch params satin column. That's not too bad. Looks a little flaky up here, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, that's because of that. Okay, that should be a little better. And then turn that one down a little bit more. Okay, I like it. Let's see what the whole thing looks like. Let's get rid of this underlying text field. And let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to have some jump stitches. Well, that looks pretty good. Not bad. All right, let's let's do away with some jump stitching. So on that one, we're going to command trim provided your machine recognizes it and then trim on that one trim okay that was it wasn't it let's have one more look we'll call this uh, tutorial finished see how to you see how to trace letters to create satin stitch lettering when you do that for an entire letter library you're doing the same exact thing but you're doing it with all the letters and any characters that you've added to it so that will be the next tutorial i appreciate you watching i don't usually mention please like and subscribe but i'm getting really close to that thousand member mark subscriber mark so even if you don't like please subscribe i'd like to hit that thousand mark and i will you know but sooner rather than later thanks y'all for watching have a good day